Who could suppose what together we'll find With every pair of shoes that we try We'll have a new adventure, you and I Where will my feet take me today? Nobody knows for sure But come for a walk, I lead the way To places never seen Knock, knock, Franny. You've been inside your fort for quite some time now. I'm working on something, Grandpa. <laughs> something fantastic. <laughs> All right, Franny. <laughs> Look, Rosie. A card always has a nice picture on the outside, and then you open it up and find a nice message on the inside. Uh-oh. I know how to write my ABCs, but I don't know how to put the letters together to make words. I haven't learned that yet. How do I write what I want to say? <gasps> A customer! <laughs> Welcome to Van Tootsies. How can we help you today? There's a celebration of ancient Egypt at the museum, but my strappy gold sandals have lost their sparkle. With some polish and a cloth, these sandals will find their shine in no time. Franny, could you take these to the fix-it box, please? Okie dokie, Grandpa. Into the fix-it box they go. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? <laughs> Ooh, fantastic pharaohs! There's the Nile River! I'm in ancient Egypt! Oh! <laughs> and there's my friend! Hi, Tia! <coughs> Ahem, I mean, your most royal Egyptian princess, Tia. Frani! Yaya we muhatib! Oh! And I love your sandals. Thank you. I like them with this outfit. You've come just in time. In time for what? Something important. A royal addition to the royal wall. Sammy, what fantabulous pictures. Ah, these are more than just pictures. They're symbols we call hieroglyphs. It's like an ancient Egyptian alphabet. See, this is my name. Tia. Jeepers! All those pictures on the wall are words? This is a very special day, Franny. For upon this most royal family wall, I will add the hieroglyph for my most royal cat, Kia. <gasps> Purple, don't you? A most royal color. <gasps> Why did you stop? I have never written Kia's name before. But once this ink touches the royal wall, it cannot be erased. Every hieroglyph must be precise and perfect. As befitting a royal princess, of course. Yes, of course. What if you practice writing Kia's name on something else? Then, once you've got your hiero... Hieroglyphic. You know what I mean. Princessly perfect, you can paint Kia's name on the royal wall. An excellent suggestion, Franny. Upon what material shall I make my royal practicing? There's plenty of sand. Then by royal order, Princess Tia shall practice writing on the sand. Ahem. <gasps> <laughs> I got sand on my brush. <sighs> We'd better get some water. Such a pretty basket. It's 
made from papyrus. That's a type of tall plant which grows right at the banks of the Nile River. What else can you make with papyrus? Oh, lots of things. Mats, ropes, sandals, the mattress of my most royal lounger. The inner bark of the plant is even used to make my royal paintbrush. Wow! <laughs> I have a royal idea, Franny. I can write the hieroglyphs for my most royal cat's name upon this rock. Great idea, Tia. <laughs> that doesn't look too good. The rock is bumpy. It makes my hieroglyphic bumpy. I do not want a bumpy hieroglyphic. Well, we can find something smooth for you to write on. Oh. Ugh. Just like this palm leaf. We just have to make sure there aren't any spaces in between by putting a whole lot of leaves close together. Get painting and practicing, Tia. I hope this works. Hmm. Because the leaves aren't glued together, they move around every time your brush touches them. <gasps> oh, no! The ink! Some has gotten onto my most royal lounger. Where did I put that bowl of water? <laughs> hmm. What else can you make with papyrus? Oh, lots of things. Mats, ropes, sandals. The mattress of my most royal lounger. Great Galoopy! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Tia, did you say that your lounger is made from papyrus? Yes, the mattress is. Then, how about practicing to write Kia's hiero... Hiero... <laughs> hieroglyphic. Hieroglyphic. How about you practice writing it on papyrus? <gasps> Franny, I do believe that is a most royal idea. Some flour mixed with water will help glue the strips of papyrus together, so it's one big sheet. How royally forgetful of me. Egyptians use papyrus for everything, so why not use papyrus to write on? It'll be just like the paper I use at home. I have practiced writing out my cat's name on the papyrus, and now I am ready. I will apply ink to the royal wall. Music, please. without your help, Franny. Would you like to paint some hieroglyphics with me? I'd love to, Tia, but I'd better skedaddle. I've got a picture project of my own to finish. Bye! That was Ancient Egypt Tabulous! <laughs> a papyrus leaf! Another treasure for my shoebox. <laughs> uh, what's this, Franny? Are you back in your fort? Almost finished, Grandpa. <laughs> Guess what, Rosie? I know how to write what I want to say now. Oh. Ta-da! What have we here, Franny? Read it and see. It's a Franny Loves Grandpa card. See? Can you see what I wrote? I do indeed. 
I see a picture of Franny, I see a heart, which means love, and I see me. All together, your card says, Franny loves Grandpa. I didn't know how to write the words, but my friend, Princess Tia, she lives in ancient Egypt. <laughs> she showed me how to use pictures instead of words. Bellissimo. A picture is worth a thousand words, especially pictures from my Franny. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and Briona, I'm going to play a little song for you on my kazoo. Ah, uh, steady now. Oh. Ah, Franny. Yes, Grandpa? I know you love playing your kazoo, but could you please try playing a little quieter while I'm working? Sure, Grandpa. <clears throat> Sorry. A customer! Good day. What can we do for you? I'm supposed to dance at the Fergus Scottish Festival later this week. Only, one of my shoes has a small tear in it. A stitch here, a stitch there, and they'll be as good as new. Can you put these in the fix-it box, Franny? Okie dokie, Grandpa. Into the fix-it box they go. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? Whee! Beautiful colors. Scampering Scotty dogs. I think I'm in Scotland. Huh? Ugh, what was that? It sounds like some sort of monster. <laughs> You're no monster. No, I'm Hamish. It's nice to meet you, Hamish. What's that? Oh, I'm learning to play the bagpipes. Bagpipes? What are bagpipes? Bagpipes are a musical instrument. Here, I'll show you. I blow into the blowpipe like this. As the air goes into the windbag, I squeeze my arm here. And the air flows out these chanters and through the pipes making music. Neato. I'll play a song for you. What is it, Franny? Um, well... Mac? What are you doing under there? <laughs> oh, I guess his ears are a little more sensitive to sound than ours. Uh, who am I kidding? No one can stand to listen to my bagpipes. Not even my dog. What do you mean? I thought I could practice in my room without disturbing anyone. Especially my parents. But it's not working. The bagpipes are just too loud. How will I ever learn to play well if I can't practice? Hmm. Have you tried playing quietly? Uh, there's no such thing as a quiet set of bagpipes. They're always loud. Hmm. There must be something you can do. Maybe you need to find somewhere else to practice where the sound won't bother anyone. Like where? Oh, wait, I know. I can practice outside in the garden. Come on. <laughs> Great Galoopy, you sure live near lots of open land. Aye, Franny. The open land is called a moor. Well, this seems like a good spot. carries all the way to me porch. And all the way to your pooch. Poor Mac. Since you live near all this open land, maybe you could practice someplace further away, where no one will mind bagpipe music. Mmm, well, the chicken coop is pretty far away from the house. Maybe I could practice there. Okay, Hamish, give it a try. 
try. <laughs> Piffle. Double Piffle. I don't think this is working, Hamish. Maybe we need to go farther away. And I know just the place. Ah, this should do. I think we're far enough away now. There's nothing here but those sheep. And they're way over on the next hill. Those are my neighbor's sheep. She uses their wool to make warm sweaters. Okay, I'm ready to play. <gasps> <laughs> I thought we were far enough away, but the sound really does carry all the way to your neighbor's farm. We've got to get those sheep back, Franny. Don't worry, we'll round them up lickety split. Come here, little lassie. Come on. Yeehaw! This way, sheep. Gotcha! Whoa! What are those purple flowers, Hamish? That's heather, a kind of wild flower. Sometimes the sheep graze on it. Hmm. Here, sheep. Mmm, some yummy heather for you to nibble on. Is that all the sheep? <laughs> Most of the flock, the two lambs, are still missing. Lammies! Oh, Lammies! Where are you? Hmm. I better check in the barn. I'll come with you. Jeepers! Look at all these tall stacks of hay bales, Hamish. Hamish? Where'd you go? Hamish, where are you? Hamish, there you are. Oh, and the missing lambs. I was calling all over for you. Why didn't you answer? Sorry, Franny, I guess I didn't hear you behind all that hay. That's okay. I'm just happy we finally found all of your neighbor's sheep. Yeah, me too. I just wish I didn't have to give up playing the bagpipes. Give up? I have to. There's nowhere for me to practice. Everywhere I go, others can hear me. Hmm. A minute ago, you couldn't hear me calling you. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <coughs> Hamish, you can practice here, in the barn, behind the walls of hay bales. No one will hear you. Franny, I think you're right. <coughs> it works, Hamish, it works. I can hardly hear you outside. Really? That's great! The tall stacks of hay must make the barn nearly soundproof. Yes, sirree! Not a single creature ran away while you were playing. <laughs> Not even the sheep. I'm chuffed. Now I can practice any time I want. And I won't be disturbing anyone. Thanks for your help, Franny. You're welcome. Do you want to listen to me play another tune? I'd love to, but I have to get home now. I've got a musical instrument of my own to play. Then we'll practice together next time. You betcha, Hamish. Tati bye, Franny. Goodbye. That was Big Piperific. <laughs> Heather. <laughs> Another treasure for my shoebox. Grandpa, I know how to play my kazoo quietly while you're working. <laughs> okay, Franny, show me. Okie dokie, Grandpa. <laughs> can you turn on a light for me? Sure, but I thought you were going to show me how you can play your kazoo quietly. I am. Wait right here. Ah. See? 
the sound of my kazoo doesn't carry outside the closet. Just like the sound of Hamish's bagpipes didn't carry outside the barn. Bagpipes in the barn? <laughs> well, Franny, you are a very smart cookie. And smart cookies deserve real cookies, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Absolutely. Where will my feet take me tomorrow?